Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka The Rolling Nick's Games. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install the Morph Mod in Minecraft 1.7.10. First off, you want to go to minecraftforge.net slash forms. It doesn't matter because guess what? It is the first link in the description. Go down there, click that. That will take you to this page where you want to find 1.7.10 latest. Scroll all the way over until we see installer. Click that. That will open up Adfly here. In this time, when we have to wait 10 seconds, I'm going to say this. If you have any issues with Adfly, simply right click and reload the page. That should fix it. If that does not fix it, look into enabling cookies on your browser once you do that that should fix it if it doesn't I'm sorry there's nothing else I can do click here to continue that will then take us off to this page where you have to wait an additional five seconds once those five seconds are up two one boom skip that it now downloads forge and we can go over here to the second link in the description or ichun.us slash mod slash ichun util and once we're here we want to scroll down until we see version 4.0.0 for minecraft 1.7.10 right here click download that will then take us up to adfy where we again have to wait five seconds right up here in the top right hand corner once that's done we again click skip add once we click skip add it automatically downloads just like forge did the last thing we need to download is the actual morph mod. That's the third link in the description or itrend.us slash mods slash morph. Go down here until you see download. Click download and then under download here you want to see for Minecraft 1.7.10 and then click this blue 0.9.0. Click that, takes us yet again off to AdFly, where we have to wait yet again an additional 5 seconds. After those 5 seconds are up, we again want to click Skip Add. It will then again download. So if we go ahead and minimize our browser now, we can see here are the 3 mods we downloaded. If they're not here for you, don't freak out. Simply hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time and type in Downloads. Hit Enter and they'll be right here. You can leave them up there or move them to your desktop, doesn't matter. Once you've located them, you simply want to double click on Forge, or not double click, I'm sorry, right click on Forge, and then go down to Open With Java TM Platform SE Binary. Click that, it opens up this nice little installer. Just click Install Client and click OK. After that, it goes through all this stuff, bada bing, bada boom. OK, there you go, Forge successfully installed. We can now delete the file we downloaded. Now, we want to hit the Windows key on our keyboard and R again, but this time everybody needs to do it. Hit, then type percent %APPDATA%. Percent. Hit enter. It will open up roaming. We then want to go into dot .minecraft, and then we want to go into mods. Now, what if this mod folder isn't here? What if it's like this? What if the mods folder does not exist? Don't freak out. No reason to freak out. Just simply right-click, new folder and then type MODS enter boom you now have a mods folder plus one for you go ahead double click on it and drag both of these mods down into it guess what they're installed I'll meet you guys in the Minecraft launcher once we're in the Minecraft launcher choosing to play forge is very very easy simply go to the profile you want to play for me that's dead Buddha hit edit profile and then go to use version right here yours most likely won't be 1.7.10 optifine it'll probably be use latest version or just simply release 1.7.10 Whenever you've clicked that, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you will see 1.7.10-Forge. Click that, click Save Profile, click Play. You are now launching into Forge with the Morph Mod and the Chun's Utility, which is required to run the Morph Mod, installed and ready to go. It'll open up black for a second, but that's fine because guess what? It's going to switch and say Mojang. There you go. I'll meet you guys in the main menu. Once you're on the Minecraft main menu, seeing if Morph Mod is installed is very, very easy. You can go into Mods here, and as you can see, iChun Utility and Morph. But on top of that, we can go ahead and launch into any world you want. I'm just going to use a creative here, just for the sake of argument. Once we launch into it, we can uh, spawn some pigs in here. And we're actually already a pig. And to do this, and to switch uh, animals, you just hit the, like, bracket key. It's that one. Okay, it's, it's right next on your keyboard to P, and uh, you can switch from Dead Buddha, which is me, and as you can see, I am I am growing, I'm growing, if we hit F5, boom, I'm that, but if I hit it again, and then hit enter on pig, I morph into, yeah, you guessed it, I am now a pig, guys, I am now a pig in Minecraft. So, um, so that's a thing. Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Also, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I make awesome Minecraft how-tos every single day of the week. There's other awesome Minecraft videos, so why wouldn't you subscribe? Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games, and I am out, guys.
Peace. And here's some videos you guys probably want to go check out. On the left is my fantastic episode 2. That is an awesome mod in Minecraft series in which I play awesome Minecraft mods every single week. But it's like the same mod. It's the second mod pack. It's a survival series. Go check it out. It's great. And on the right is install voxel map in Minecraft 1.7.10. If you guys want an awesome mini map in Minecraft 1.7.10, go check out that video. Also check out my daily vlogs and bombs near your screen to see what I'm doing every single day of my life. Anyway guys, I'm Nick's Games and I'm out. Peace.